All right, we're on the range today with the Beretta 21A. This is a little 22 tip barrel. You just press a little lever on this side, tip the barrel up, and you could uh, get a round in there. It's a blowback gun. It's got a terrible trigger. It's not very comfortable to shoot. The sights are worthless, but how cool is that? It's, uh, the suppressor, this Gemtech Alpine, is actually longer than the whole gun itself. Uh, you have to be a little bit careful with these because the barrel hinges on this bottom portion of the frame here. And if you just let it slam home with all this extra weight on here, there is a possibility of cracking the frame. So as you'll see, I'm pretty careful by supporting the suppressor when I open it up. Uh, it's got a manual thumb safety on it. Um, I think it's a seven round magazine, seven round mag. It's, uh, we'll see how it does. I, I've only shot it a few times. I got this gun actually in on trade. I had been looking for one for a long time. I just never found one in stock anywhere or uh, pulled the trigger. And I was selling a different firearm and a guy want, had this to trade with some money. And I thought, okay, perfect combination. They don't come threaded from the factory, obviously. And the barrels are really short. Uh, Gemtech used to core the barrels out, put a sleeve in there with an extended threaded end on it. They no longer do that but I was uh, recommended, uh, I believe it's Bueller Ballistics. So I sent it out to them and, and they got it back to me all threaded with the adapter attached to the end of it. So far it's worked great. So let's just see what it looks like on the range here. Um, I'd, you notice I have earplugs in, we're in a really tight shooting bay here. And uh, this one is still a little bit loud compared to like the, uh, my Ruger charger that you've probably seen a video on. So let's just see what it kind of does. Uh, once again, terrible trigger, but we'll, we'll see if, what we can do. And with this one, with the, the sights being lower than the actual can, you just gotta have to keep both eyes open, let your brain put the images together, and it'll get you at least close enough. Get a lot of bl uh, gas blowback. I could feel that on my forehead with the burnt powder. Um, Yeah, kind of painful to shoot actually. Um, in single action, the trigger isn't as bad as I remember. Double action is pretty painful. But basically, I'm shooting at a, a circle target down here, and I'm just putting the curvature of the top of the suppressor in the curvature of the top of this um, of the target, and it seems to be getting them mostly in the in the circle there. And I'm out. I probably flinched on that one if you saw. So yeah, it's a uh, it's a pretty cool gun. Uh, you can see here without the suppressor. I'll take it off while we're clear here. And let me just make sure we're clear. Yeah, yep, got an empty barrel there. You see the adapter just sticks out. I think they actually have to uh, like either high temp solder. I'm not sure exactly how he gets that adapter on there. I, I believe he threads what's remaining, makes this adapter have an internal thread on it, and then screws it on there and either rock sets it on or however he does it. But uh, it's pretty cool. You see the suppressor from the tail, the beaver tail end. It's actually longer than the unit, but from the back of the slide, significantly longer. But it's a pretty cool combination. If you already have the suppressor, you know, there's no reason not to uh, get a little gun like this. The fun guns are fun, you know, that's why they're they're fun guns. But as you can see, the travel on the double action is pretty significant and it's pretty crunchy and it just feels like you got to pull, pull, pull. But on single action, it's not, it's much better. You're right there and then that little bit left is the trigger pull. So definitely recommend shooting it in single action, but do what you got to do. All right, we're gonna do one more mag full of the Beretta uh, 21A here. I'm only at like five yards, I believe, but I wanna just kinda of see what I can get for accuracy. We'll see what, what happens. So this one might take me a little bit longer, but let's just see.
All right, let's see what happens. I'll show you the target. All right, so here's the two targets I shot. This was the first target, uh, eight shots at same yardage. I was kind of going in the first video or the first clip, just kind of wailing away at it. I have the suppressor curvature lined up here. This one, I put the top of the suppressor right there. And there's another eight shots. Pretty good group, actually, for, you know, I can't even see where the sights are at. So pretty good. Um, that's the Breda 21A. All right, I'm going to just, I'm a glutton for punishment. So I'm going to try this gun at... It's about 12 yards or so, uh, just to see what I can do. I'm gonna rest it right on the suppressor here, and we'll just kind of see what we can achieve. Oh yeah, it's gonna be hard. All right, so at 12 yards compared to that three yard sighted, it is probably low six inches. And yeah, it's way low. It's shooting a target. It's probably down. Huh, yeah, it's down. Uh, well, it's in mils, it's about 10 mils according to this milling reticle. But so it's a close range gun that's all we got to know it's it's down into the right uh compared to at 12 yards compared to up close up close within five yards seven yards it was basically right there 12 13 14 yards starts slipping down to the right so now we know all right so we're gonna see i'm shooting these uh is it a gila i'm not sure how they pronounce that i think it's a gila Aguila, uh, 40 grain, 22 super extra. This is not subsonic specifically, it's standard velocity solid point, 40 grain ammo. Just want to, I have it hooked up here to the magneto speed. I'm gonna see what we get shot to shot. So let's just see if it even picks it up. I've never shot suppressed on this uh, magneto speed or a 22 for that matter. So let's just see what we get. Didn't see it. I wonder if I have to turn up the, let's see, set sensitivity. Let's try that, huh? We'll do custom and we will do, we're on two, let's bring it up to a 11. 11 is the, I'll do 10. 10 is the highest, one of the highest sensitivities. Okay. Now let's see if it'll pick up a shot. Seven sixty eight, seven hundred sixty eight feet per second. Seven six, seven eighty five, seven eighty nine, eight thirty two, eight twenty six, eight hundred, seven forty four. Oh, should have known that was coming. So we have an average of 792, max 832, min 744, standard deviation 30.9. So I'm going to do the same thing now on the 1022, or the, I'm sorry, the Ruger Charger with a four and a half inch barrel, and we'll see what we get. Same ammo.